entitled Amplified Events, Seminars, Conferences, What, Why, How. I should just, just say that when we first submitted this proposal, it was entitled Amplified Events, What, Why, How. But just got back to us and thought, people might think it's how to amplify a big conference like this. Which is, how do you do that? It's easy, you just outsource it to a professional guys and they do all, all the things. But this is also covering amplifying small seminars. There might be no funding available to commission other people. So what I want you all to do is get your gadgets out. Anybody not got a video, camera or recording gadget on them at the moment? Okay, so you can all do this. So the first thing you'll notice, acceptable use policy, you can record, you can take photos, you can discuss this with Twitter. This is that, that's all fine. I should also say the slides are available on a web. If I just go over to here, there's a, a blog post that I published yesterday. And in addition, you'll see the slides, which are also available on SlideShare. So perhaps we could all just, it's all online, all the resources are online. We could just sneak off to the pub and watch it in our own time, maybe. Oh, I mean videos, I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so just to clarify this point, this is a, a slide I got from Cameron Naylor, who's a, a, a researcher, a scientific researcher uh, who lives in Bath. And a couple of years ago, he came up with this proposal for a set of icons to clarify what you, are, what you can do. So you're free to copy the, the works, photograph, film, or broadcast, blog, live blog, and post videos of, of these resources. I don't know if anybody's seen this before. Show of hands if you've seen this. Okay. Um, it was kind of interesting that people know Stephen Downs, who's a renowned Canadian e-learning guru. And just this morning, he commented on my post and says, this is outrageous. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be seeking permission. I'm granting you permission to take a, a video or some photos of me working, paid for by the taxpayer, in an open environment. It should just be accepted as standard. So I thought that's a kind of interesting perspective. And Cameron Nalen says, the way he makes that point is, you are now free to take a pen and notepad and take notes of this talk. It's ridiculous, you wouldn't say this. So perhaps, I think there are reasons why you, ne you may need to be explicit about this, but for now this session we can regard as, as open. We are the three facilitators, myself, um, Brian Kelly, I work at UCO, which is a national centre of expertise in digital information management based at the University of Bath. My colleague, Marika Guy, a research officer, home worker, and, and UConn's environment champion. <laughs> and we also have a third facilitator who couldn't actually be here today. It was just on Saturday, he learned that uh, uh, there was a family bereavement and he couldn't make it. But we will be including him in the talk, in the session, a bit later on. And this was the, a bit about the session, amplified events can enhance, enhance face-to-face -face, uh, events, We'll describe approaches we've done, some case studies, uh, look at some of the issues that are, this is, uh, arouses, and look to engage you in some of the concerns you may have, or the opportunities, or the technologies, and the non-technological issues you may like to think about. So I'll give this introduction, and then I'll explain the basic concepts. Marika will go about how do I do it, after I've done the what and why, and then We'll, uh, Paul Chabjay will give his talk and then there'll be the opportunities for some group exercises on the various tables. So, uh, perhaps if you could shout out some of the things, why are you here? And what do you hope to get out of the session? What are some of the things that you might like us to address? So don't all go shy on me, or I'll pick on people. Chris. <laughs> Dave, Dave. <laughs> Steve? You were yep. giving, giving the session brides up for Okay, I've got a group here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I work for the programme support office, so I support programme managers and just in supporting their okay. work. Okay, so it's learning about things that can be used to support other programme managers you know, within the GIST context, yeah? I work for the support project and one of my primary functions is to work with us. So if you run events within a context of cost issues, environmental issues, what the latest 